Hi friends! How are you doing today? I'm happy! That's actually a strange response. Today, let's talk about happy! English speakers actually rarely say, I'm happy. It sounds a little childish. My students who are children say, I'm happy, and that's okay. But for adults, it's not natural. But there are many other ways we can use the word happy. Today, we'll look at three ways to use happy. First, I'm so happy for you. We use this when something good happens to someone. Here's an example. We're having a baby. Congratulations, I'm so happy for you. One more example. I got accepted into the study abroad program. Great, I'm so happy for you. Happy for you. Let's look at another way we can use happy. I'm happy to hear that. We use this when we hear good news about someone or if we're responding to praise or good news about us. Here's some examples. I finally got promoted to manager. Nice! I'm happy to hear that. My wife loved your cheesecake. She ate both slices. Oh good! I'm happy to hear that. So in our first example, you were promoted to manager. It's good news about you. In the second example, your wife loved my cheesecake, so I'm happy to hear that she liked my cake. It's praise about me that I'm responding to. Both are common ways to use. I'm happy to hear that. And lastly, I'm happy to help. We can use this to mean a kind of you're welcome. Here's an example. Thanks for checking my essay. You gave me some great advice. No problem. I'm happy to help. I'm happy to help. We often say it after someone thanks us for something. Thank you. It's okay. I'm happy to help. Or thank you. You're welcome. I'm happy to help. Okay, now you know three common ways to use happy. Other than just saying, I'm happy! Because that's a little strange. Okay, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye!